matching hero mask for my parents' makeup for breakfast. <laughs> So I just finished my first book of the readathon, and obviously it was Ghost in the Closet by Kathleen Griffin. So that's 24 pages for the readathon so far in one book down. I honestly am just waiting for my actual TBR video to export, so I'm like, you know what, as I wait, I might as well just read this because it's short as fuck. So yeah, gave it, I gave it three stars. It was cute. It was okay. Nothing special. Yeah, kind of gave me a little bit of like... Dr. Susie vibes just with the way that the story was told. I don't know why. Like, you know, it's like the first page. So it's like, there's a ghost in my closet. She cried in the night. A ghost in my closet. She shouted with fright. I don't know, like that kind of like rhymey kind of thing. It just like reminds me of uh, Dr. Seuss and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I thought it was cute. Could predict right away what it was just because like literally the cover has what the ghost is. So it's just easy. But, yeah, it's a cute book. be a cute book to read to your children at night to, like, kind of help them with their fear of monsters and stuff, I guess. So, yeah, three out of five stars. And I think I'm going to start this one because it's short as well, so why not? So, yeah, and my video is, like, almost done exporting, but then I have to rewatch it just in case, like, there's any wrong things and upload it and blah, blah, blah. So... Time to read this now. Hey guys, so I just finished my second book of the Bingoathon, and that was Surviving the City by Tasha Spillett and Natasha Donovan. So I've been giving this five stars. Loved it. Great book. Extremely upsetting though. So in this book, there's a lot of talk about um, missing and murdered indigenous women, and actually, that kind of like talks about like what happened with. Melquan's mother and I believe her mother was one of those victims and then she gets uh, scared because she thinks her friend um does that also happens to her but it, I'm gonna it's gonna be a spoiler but it does not happen which I'm very happy about but it's just really sad hearing about all that and then at the end of the book the author goes into like statistics and just talking about indigenous women and like how they are more likely to be murdered and killed and like kidnapped and all that than somebody who is non-indigenous as well and just like how there's a lot of women or a lot of indigenous women who get killed and murdered and disappear and stuff but they don't they get like uncounted for so like the statistics are not even accurate because the not every single one is counted for and a lot of cases go unsolved which is really upsetting and it's just it's just really sad and stuff even in this book they were talking about how like um, Milkwan scares, uh, Dez. No, wait, Dez scares Milkwan when they, she was waiting at the mall. She, and Dez is like, you gotta always keep your guard up because, like, she could easily be taken, which is really sad just because she's indigenous, which honestly is really upsetting to hear. And, like, they talk about that a lot, like, how you have to keep your guard up. You have to be very careful when you're alone and all that. And they're like, just do not be alone and stuff. So, that's honestly really upsetting to hear about, but... The art in this was beautiful. The message of this book was beautiful. Honestly, everybody needs to read this. This is just a beautiful book and I really want to own this book. And apparently this is actually in a series. So 
I have no idea what the other books are about, but if you can see that, that is the name of the series. This is, I think, the first one. I didn't really see anything else, so I definitely will be reading more from this, and I definitely want to check out any other work by these two authors, because I just, I love this book so much, so yeah. There's also, like, little bits of culture about, like, their tribes and how there's actually, like, a little scene where they start talking in their uh, language, and I thought that was really cool, even though I obviously couldn't pronounce what they were saying, but it was just a really cool thing to hear, especially because it was translated into English anyways, but yeah, I just really love this book, y'all. It's just y'all, you gotta read this, so yeah. <laughs> So I just got back from picking up a package, which is my textbooks for my online course, online summer school, summer school course. I'm just going to open it now. It's an English course, so yeah. I was so confused when I got the thing saying, oh, you have a package to pick up because like I, uh, we missed it in the morning, like when they come and deliver it. So I had to go and pick it up because like whenever I order something and it gets shipped somewhere, it's usually Canada Post. So it was really weird to get it from uh, whatever this brand is called, because I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Also, it says it's seven pounds, bitch. This says seven. Also, for like however many textbooks it was, this is a pretty small ass book, which also pissed me off because small books, but expensive as fuck. Yep, they're my textbooks. So we have the Little Seagull's Handbook. Um, holy shit, this is huge wonder it's expensive this must be where all the weight is from damn this is elements of literature uh fiction poetry drama and i don't pronounce the author's name but this is fucking huge jesus christ and i have a miss a midnight summer's dream by william shakespeare because we have to read this and i've tried i've read shakespeare so many times in school and i just do not like shakespeare i really don't but i have to read it anyways then i have passing by don't know how to pronounce this author's name. It's a used book. You can kind of tell because it's not in the best condition. Well, it's like not that bad. Yeah. The last one is a book specifically made for like this course, I guess. Ow, my lip. And it's Introduction to English Literatures and Culture. I'm just going to cover the English course name and the professor's name. Oh, that's covered now. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's just like specially made for the school. Oh, okay, I see. It's just like all the little text and stuff that we have to read for the class i guess then we have the uh receipt so yeah that's all the books that i got for school there are two more there's life of pi and north anger abbey that i also have to read but i'm just gonna get those from like the library and stuff because like they have those special those certain editions and i'm like i okay so back in like seventh grade we had to read and watch the movie of life of pi and i did not like that at all so i'm like when i learned those on our reading list i'm like so who knows, maybe this time I'll like it, but I highly doubt it. And then I've never read anything by Jane Austen, I think is who the author is. So yeah, and all these other books, I couldn't find them in our school's library or the actual uh, public library. So I'm just like the certain edition. So I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to order them. But I didn't have enough money, so I had to use my mom's credit card. So now I owe her money. And then there's still the whole OSAP thing. And because of like all the stuff that I need for my OSAP, it's gonna definitely be late, which means I have to put on a late fee. I'm like, bitch, I already have to pay a lot for school. Just for one fucking course for the summer is over a thousand dollars. And I'm like, really? And now I have to add on the late fee. I'm just like, oh, I swear. But whatever. Uh, now I'm just gonna go and watch YouTube because I don't feel like doing anything. So yeah. But tomorrow I'm gonna try and do some homework. Since now I actually have all my textbooks that I need to do, or that I need, so now I can actually do the readings that I have to. Because, like, we have these online forums, um, like, discussion forums that I have to do. But, like, there were certain, like, 
books that I needed to read, but I didn't have them. So now I have them and I can read them. So, yeah. But I have a Swiss roll. Swiss roll? I think that's what they're called in water to munch on. But yeah, I'm not fasting because, like, I'm a girl. So you can kind of assume why I'm not fasting this week. But, yeah. Got nothing else to update. I've literally done nothing but watch YouTube all day because I woke up at, like, almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm like, no. So, yeah. yeah. But anyways, bye. Hey guys, so it's currently 2.06 a.m. and I can't sleep and it's almost time for iftar. We say iftar, I mean suhoor. So I kind of felt like making a snack. I'm just gonna make some avocado toast because why not? So yeah. Let's use this Finster's Holy Bread. I'm gonna spread on the rest of this because there's literally like nothing left so it's just the Daya cream cheese style spread chive and onion and then I have avocado here that's like pretty much ripe enough and then I'll show you the seasonings after so I'm gonna do two slices of toast use one half of the avocado for each side doesn't look that bad at least it's not white and fuzzy so yeah and this is literally all of the cheese spread that i have left so i'm just gonna finish it off so yeah only problem is i have no idea where i got this and i want it again because it's very good the only thing is it's really annoying to spread i don't know why but it does not spread nicely but it tastes really good so yeah toasted that much but whatever actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start by putting this and i actually never do this so i wanted to try it out and see how it tastes i usually just put the avocado but the seasonings actually i also have hard boiled egg but you don't have any so yeah yeah i'm only gonna have this much for each i guess not much but that's fine one will have a little more it's okay see like i don't know if you guys can tell but like i don't know it's just it's just hard to spread it around like normal like dairy cheese spreads or cream cheese or the hell it's called you want to call it spreads nicely this one not as much i don't know why like obviously if i had more <clears throat> it'd be easier to show you what i mean but yeah whatever yeah this one got more just put whatever's on here okay now i'm gonna take half an avocado for each i'm gonna spread it on bitches oh that sounded disgusting you know i used to actually freaking hate like i despised avocado but then Karen like showed this um, avocado toast recipe and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try this, we're gonna see if maybe I like avocado, and bitch it was good. I'm talking about Karen from KK and BBJ on her kick-ass page, I think it was. It was really good. And I've been making it ever since. I feel like I'm always forgetting one seasoning, but eh, whatever. So as you can tell, one avocado, half an avocado is enough for one piece of toast, even if it's that small. So. I make sure I get like all of it, or at least pretty much all of it. So we're not wasting avocado. Eva I left that in one time. Uh -uh, that was disgusting. Should've turned that on earlier, but whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly spread this on. You don't need to see that, but yeah. Okay, so the two seasonings I'm gonna put on are cayenne pepper and garlic powder. I swear there was something else. I think it was white pepper and black pepper that she also puts on, but I'm gonna get black pepper. I'll check I'll just go into the cabinet. I won't be able to see it, but it's somewhere in this cabinet. Oh fuck, where's our black pepper? I swear somebody's always moving it and I never know where it is. 
What's that? Mm -mm, chicken seasoning. Y'all, I don't know where are my peppers. What the fuck? Wait. Uh, here. So I have this, which has its own little grinder in it. So there's black pepper as well. So I'm just gonna put these three on. So I'm kind of like eyeballing it. I would say it's a round teaspoon maybe of each. Oh, that's too much. This stuff makes your breath stink. So I mix a little bit of that. Maybe a little bit too much. I'd say it's around a teaspoon maybe. Just maybe. I don't know. And we got this, which I'll go. You know what? So I put the black pepper on. I don't know if you can see it. And we're going to sprinkle some cayenne pepper on. This stuff's spicy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Says it's spicy up the loudest. I heard somebody else be like, girl, they think it's spicy. I'm talking to somebody who cannot handle spice. This shit won't come out. Be careful, because like, if it don't come out now, it's going to all come out. Oh, just like I said, it all comes out. But spicier is better, I guess. That's enough for now. So, there you go. Avocado toast by yours truly. Ooh, I can smell the cayenne pepper. Ooh, that's strong as fuck. I think I'm gonna go eat that. It is 2.21. Peace, my dudes. That noise my little brother's playing games, but I'm gonna make this vegan pizza because why not? So, yeah, have my oven preheating to 475, and yeah, mm. all done, but I burnt it. <laughs> Oops, I cut this teeny ass little piece, but taste test. It's like Domino's cheese pizza, water, and this is lemonade and iced tea from Risk. I think that's the name of the brand, whatever. And we got toffee. Ooh, the tea is boiling. Hey guys, sorry about that noise. It's my fan, but I don't care. Anyways, I got a package. Whew, I was downstairs fixing up my laundry because I'm washing my bed sheets and stuff. But anyways. Um, so I went to check the mail and I found this and obviously it's from me like nobody ever ordered anything except my dad but like It's always like from Amazon or whatever so I knew it was mine. The only problem is I have no fucking idea what it is I feel like it could be from the peach peach store. It says it's a long coat So I literally have no idea what the fuck this could be But we're gonna open it because I want to know. I'm like I've never ordered a coat online, so I feel like it might just be, a, like, the way it feels, I feel like it's, like, a t-shirt, so. <gasps> yeah, it's a shirt. What is this? I think I know what this is. Oh, okay. Definitely has to be from the Peach Peach store, then. Oh, cute. This is an extra large. Or extra, extra large. Oh, okay. Y'all, their website says American sizing. Bitch, this is Asian sizing 100%. But, yeah, it's from the Peach Peach store. Bitch, this literally looks like it could be a crop top on me. Like, this is no t-shirt. But, anyways, it's from the Peach Peach store. So, it says milk. And then, on the back... It looks like this. Oh, it's so cute. Thank God my, this is, I think, something I ordered back in March. So, the only problem I have with the Peach Peach store is their stuff takes forever to ship. It's like $5 shipping, but it takes forever. So, yeah. Oh, this is so cute. What the hell? Yeah, 
This is 100% not an American sizing. This definitely is Asian sizing. Like, this is an extra, extra large. Extra, extra large is like a dress on me almost. So, yeah. The material feels pretty decent. And it looks really pretty. So, like, what the hell? Y'all, this is so cute though. Like, look. Look how cute that is. That's so cute. You know what? One second, I'm going to try this on. Okay, so here's the shirt. So, it's like... Ew, my little belly fat shine, but it's actually a pretty decent size, actually. It, like, stretches, so it makes it longer than it is. I just hope when I wash it, it doesn't, like, come off. But, like, there's what it looks like on the back. I hope you guys can see that. Like, can you see that? It's, like, buttoned down a little bit. Yeah, it stretches, so that's a good thing. And it feels really nice. Like, the material feels really nice, so this is actually very cute. What the hell? I, like, I really like the design on the back. Yeah, this is a really nice outfit. Oh. Use my code Zara15 for 15% off at the Peach Peach store because they got some cute ass shit and it's actually pretty decently priced, especially for Canadian. And they have a lot of stuff on sale as well. And I believe they ship worldwide and it's only like $5 shipping extra. So yeah, use my code Zara15 if you want some stuff off. But I'll link this shirt down below because it's really cute. So yeah. It's my shirt. I am watching Chloe's video and not a very good place to stop, but yeah. Yeah, that's better <laughs> anyways so i finished my pizza i'm just drinking water and i'm gonna watch her video i'm waiting for my stuff to dry because i'm washing my bed sheets so yeah and then i'm gonna go and take a shower because i smell <laughs> as always just kidding hey guys so i actually have to go to the dentist and i'm also going to the library so i just wanted to say that so i have two books that i have to return but i think i'm gonna try and um see if i can renew them again because like i already have too many renewals on them but i'm almost done them and I also have the group book for the Asian readathon to pick up. So yeah, let's go. I also might go shopping. So yeah. Hey guys. So I just got back from the dentist and the library. So the two books that I had on hold. I actually only thought I had one on hold, but then I saw my other one, and I'm like, lit. Didn't think I was going to get that soon. But anyway, so I have the group book for the Asian Readathon, and that's A Thousand Beginnings and Endings, edited by Ellen O oh and Elise Chapman, I think. Pretty much just short, st short stories written by Asian authors about, like, Asian mythology, I think. So, yeah, never. The funny thing is, like, whenever I do readathons and stuff, I never really read the group book, because I'm never really in the mood to, but I'm like, you know what? Why not? So I'll pick this up. Then I have Amy's Diary. I know nothing about this. I just saw it. And apparently it's based off novels by a different author, which I didn't know. And I have not read those books, but whatever. So I got this. And I have no idea how to pronounce the author's name. Veronica. Yep, that's all I got. Veronica. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Actually, even Veronica has like an accent to it, so yeah. Then I renewed um, a Muslim girl coming at age story. Don't know how to pronounce the author's name. And I also renewed Tales from the yeah, from the Inner City by Sean Tan because I'm still reading this and it's actually very good. It's just like short stories, like really weird magical realism, fantasy stories. I don't know. They're definitely very interesting. The pig one was definitely a little bit, just a little bit um. I guess you could say twisted, but some of these are kind of twisted, and I'm just like, okay. But it's very good. Love the art, as always. Shantian has beautiful art, so yeah. And I just realized that Shantian, I believe, is half Chinese, so this can work for the Asian readathon as well. And it can also work for the bingo a thon, so yeah. But right now, I have work for my classes, or my class to do for school, so I should really do that. But at the same time, I'm just like, do I want to? No. But do I need to? Yes. So I'm going to go and do that. So yeah. Bye. Hey guys, so it's currently 2.08 a.m. <clears throat> and I made myself some noodles. Except they were literally just like chicken flavored. Except I wanted some t more taste to it, so I added cayenne pepper. I added way too much so it's really fucking spicy and like I inhaled some of the pep 
the like brown cayenne pepper bitch i was coughing i'm also on episode eight of hero mask so yeah i really recommend this anime like it's so fucking good so yeah but anyways i'm just gonna eat my ramen watch hero mask until it's time for sahur so i can make my parents tea and stuff so peace guys so i just finished all my noodles I don't even know if my lips look any bigger, but they feel bigger because that was way too much cayenne pepper. Oh my god, that was so spicy. Like, I can't. That was too much for me. <coughs> my throat still hurts from that, so yeah. But I'm on episode, um, one sec, I don't know. So I'm on episode 8 of Hero Mask right now, and I actually, I can't. Everybody needs to watch this anime because it's so good. So, yeah, that's all I got. But I washed myself some strawberries because I need something to snack on. And it's 2.42 right now, so it's almost 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go and put tea on soon. It turns like 3 o'clock or whatever. But yeah, everybody needs to watch Hero Mask. It's so good. And, yeah, and I'm really close to finishing because there's only 15 episodes. The only problem is my cousin told me that... The way that the show ended, she thinks that there should be a second season. And just hearing that alone, I'm like, oh, God. Because, like, I think this show came out last year. I don't know. Um, But with the way the show's going, I'm just like, how are y'all going to end this? Because it's only 15 episodes. So I'm just like, okay. But it's really good and very sad at, some, at times. And I'm just like because like characters will die and you're just like what the fuck I loved you even if you were barely in the show but still but yeah it's a really good show and the anime style uh it's really nice and it's it's the Netflix original series which I kind of can understand with like I don't know like is that why there's a lot of English in it not like speaking wise but like their names are very like English names <laughs> And there's like a lot of the signs and stuff will be in English and stuff. And I'm just like, like an anime that's not usually what I notice. So yeah, but that's all I got. I'm going to eat my strawberries and finish this episode. Bye. Hey guys. So I haven't vlogged much for this readathon or in general reading wise. Because I don't know, like I just, I just haven't really been in the mood to read. And if I do, um, I don't know why it just makes me get really tired and stuff it's not the book's fault it's just i don't know i think it's because i read on my bed so it just makes me feel tired and stuff because i've noticed if i go downstairs into like the living room and try reading i don't feel as tired so i think it's because i read on my bed and just makes me tired also that's the sound of my fan it's really hot in my room so i'm just gonna leave it on but i thought i would show you all the books that i'm currently reading and one of the books that i really want to read because today's the last day of the readathon and i've only got two books done and they were both one was a children's book and one was a graphic novel, so I don't feel like I read much for this readathon. And I really want to finish another book, and I definitely think I will be able to if I actually sit down and read. So, yeah. So, the first book that I honestly don't think I'm going to read this, but it's just a book I've been currently reading since <laughs> last year. And it's The Road by Cormac McCarthy. I have like 47 pages left of this book. But this book, I swear, every time I read it, it just makes me fall asleep or make me really tired. So, yeah. And you'd be wondering, oh, Zara, why don't you just, like, stop reading a DNF? And I'm like, I'm this close to finishing it. Why not? And I don't even need to read it anymore because we had to read it for my English class last semester. But we, like, barely, like, we talked about it and stuff. And, like, I already know how it's going to end. So, like, I got spoiled for it because of the fact that um, we had to talk about the ending and stuff. So, I'm just like, why am I still reading this? But at the same time, I'm just like... I want to see how it happens, like what happens in the end, so I'm just like, why not? And I believe this book is based off a, or not this book, I think there's a movie on this book, so I kind of want to watch the movie as well, but I can't wait to finish this and get rid of it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it, because it's kind of like damaged and stuff, so I don't really think I can sell it to somebody if they need it for that English class, so yeah, because this technically was a textbook for my English class, but I don't even need it anymore, so yeah. But anyways, so the other book that I'm currently reading that I'm definitely going to finish today if I actually put my mind to it is Off Season by James Strum. I am currently not 100 pages, but I definitely will be soon. Oh yeah, I'm like 5 pages away. So I'm on 
page 94, and there is, how many pages? Oh, I thought this was the case. There's 213 pages, but like the way the story's told, let me find a page. Yeah, perfect. So it's kind of like, I chose a bad page, but like literally it'll look like this on both sides, so it's really fast to read. I just haven't really put my mind to it to finish it, but I will definitely finish it. Like I'm on page 94, so definitely will finish that today so then I can at least have three books done. And then I'm currently reading The Book Girl by Sylvia Bishop, which I am not really far into and I don't think I'll finish today if I don't, because I don't know if I'll actually like get around to reading it. But if I do, then hopefully. I'm on page eight, so yeah, I'm not really far into it. But I think it's like okay so far. It's like, it's a cute story, eight pages in. And there's only a hundred and, okay, this is like, it's like more than what I'm gonna say, but that's because of like the extra stuff, which I'm not gonna count. Uh, looks like it's 129 pages plus some more but it's like those pages that don't really aren't really part of the story so again I could finish that if I actually put my mind to it but I don't know and then the last book that I am currently reading is Tales from the Inner City by Sean Tan which I am currently 94 pages in as well but I was reading this a while ago before the readathon started so like I don't actually know what page I started on when I wanted to read it for the readathon or whatever. But there's 200 and. Where is it? 221 pages. But like, there's a lot of art and stuff throughout the story as well. And like, they're all just short stories. So it is pretty fast to read. And I'm actually really enjoying this so far. So I'm going to read this for the Asian readathon because the author is Chinese or half Chinese from what I've looked up online. But the story itself doesn't have to do like anything with asia or whatever so that doesn't count but the author himself is half asian so i'm gonna count that and if i do finish it today not gonna happen then i can count it for the B uh, bingo-a-thon and asian readathon but anyways the last book that i have not started but i really want to start because i do have this on my tbr for the bingo-a-thon is check please by don't know how to pronounce the other's name i really want to read this because i've heard such good things and even if i don't read it for the readathon i'm gonna 100 percent read it but I just want to read it for the readathon so then I can say that I read it for the readathon. So, yeah. But apparently tomorrow we're going out for dinner because our one of our relatives invited us. So that's going to be fun. Oh, my throat is so dry. I'm on episode, is it eight or nine? I forget, of Hero Mask. And oh my god, it's so good. I really recommend it. I've been putting Sailor Moon on hold because I just really want to finish Hero Mask because it's very short. I've pretty much just been watching it. Um, while I have Sahur because it's, why not? Like, I'm just down there eating. Might as well do something. Or, like, if, um, I'm, like, letting the tea cook or something while, before my parents come down for Sahur. So, yeah. I've just been watching it during that time. It's, like, barely 25 minutes, 25 minutes or less of an episode. And that doesn't count, like, the long intro. So, yeah. But, I'm gonna get to reading. So, I Hey, guys. So, guess what? I guess what girl did. I finished a book. So I finished Off Season by James Strong and I gave it four stars. This is how many pages, how many books I've read for this readathon because I don't know. But anyways, so I actually enjoyed this book. So pretty much this book is following back in 2016 when Trump gets elected and so like on the thing it says set against the backdrop of the disorienting 2016 presidential elections. James Strong's r riveting graphic novel off season is an unaffected and raw look at a country and a marriage hanging on by a thread drenched in pop palpable feelings of grief rage and tenderness off season is a love story for our times pretty much that's what it is so it's like following this guy named mark and like him and his wife or ex-wife no so like i think they're technically still married because they hadn't gotten a divorce so i'm gonna say wife uh, like mark and lisa dealing with like their feelings I don't, i'm so bad at describing books but anyways so i really enjoyed this book i just thought it was a really good book and i don't know like it was so weird too like i don't even know how to describe my feelings for the book but i just i really liked it and i really like the art style so in this book they're everybody's portrayed as i think they're dogs i think everybody's portrayed as a dog and it's just 
like I really don't know how to describe this like why I liked it. I don't know I just it was just an, a nice thing to read and to see like the raw emotions as the description says and just seeing what is going on there is um talk about depression because that was my leg sorry um Mark's wife has dealt with severe depression for a long time so there is I guess like we consider it a trigger warning so there is a trigger warning for that um there is trigger warning I guess I don't know I just feel like there could be other trigger warnings I just don't know like how to describe what the trigger warning is but this was just a really good book and I definitely think people need to read it but yeah it's definitely interesting how they included all that stuff about Trump and Hillary and like Bernie and all that. I don't know. I just I really like this uh, this story. I love the art. I thought the plot was good. I thought I liked the characters, even though Mark kind of annoyed me at times just with like the way he acted. But Lisa did as well. I didn't like her that much either. And yeah, I don't know what else I can say. But yeah, I finished three books so far for the readathon. So I feel like I really should read one of the books I'm currently reading. But honestly. I really want to read this but like I don't know should I read it yeah I'm gonna read it because like I just I'm really anticipating this and I think this is like one of my anticipated five star reads so I'm definitely gonna be reading this now so yeah hey guys so it is now past midnight it's like 1201 1202 whatever so it's officially May 19th so the readathon is technically over and I made it up to page, I was almost on page 100. I made it to page 92. And I am loving this book. It is so funny. It's so cute. And it's just like wholesome. And I love it. Like I just, it usually can be a little hard to make me like laugh or whatever in a book. This one has made me laugh a couple times. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just such a cute ass book. And I'm just like, yeah. So I'm just going to end the, this vlog. And then since it's Sunday, I'm going to be starting my Asian readathon vlog now and I think I'm gonna be uploading on Sundays this time because of the whole like changing thing and I think I don't know Sundays are easier I guess but yeah so I finished three books and I don't know how many pages but we already know what that is but yeah so I hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe till next time bye Rose.